Hi guys, this is Vo. Um, so I'm going to show you how to add multiple audio to your uh, video files if you're going to work in uh, MKV files. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is download a thing called Make MKV uh, file. And this is how you're going to rip uh, Blu-rays uh, into a, a file. Uh, this is free, so um, you can download it. You can pay a one-time fee for uh, 60 or 70 bucks, and it's a, a lifetime but it's free every 30 days you get to renew it but it's free so the disc I'm gonna be working on is gonna be Terminator um, the Sarah Connor Chronicles and I know that there's an audio um, commentary on one of the on the last track of the third disc um, so what you're gonna do is scan the disc and then it's gonna uh, pop up some option on your uh, MKV files and um, while it's doing that, uh, I'm going to mention that uh, these older uh, Warner Brother disc uh, uh, has, uh, if you want to listen to the audio commentary, you, you basically have to rewatch the, the video file again, but only in audio. This is before they improved their technology. So anyway, there's a bunch of uh, files that it uh, automatically selects everything. You want to do is uh, unselect everything. And what you're going to do is pick the third uh, f uh, file, which is basically the 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 last uh, episode, and I'm going to check that, and then it's only offering you one audio track. I'm going to unselect this. I'm only it's only offering you one audio track, which is English, and then I'm going to take the uh, the subtitles. Uh, this French subtitles, if you want to rip your French titles or Spanish. Um, Anyway, these next two um, uh, discs here. So this is a co combine uh, all three files, all three episodes into one. So it's a much larger file, 12 gigabytes. But I believe that the um, uh, audio commentary is going to be on this track. Okay. So we're, what are we going to? Oh, it's only audio. So there's no um, subtitles. So I, I'm assuming. This is the audio commentary track. Let's take a look at this other one. It has subtitles. I wonder if that's it too. Uh, if you're not sure, you can always rip them both. But I'm going to check the... Um, so if you have the Blu-ray, you can check the, uh, the, the episode guide to see um, what it has. So the first track, the Demon Head, uh, has uh, terminated scenes. And then the... Uh, Vicky's chip doesn't have any commentary or anything and then what he beheld which is the last episode uh, does contain audio commentary by Selma Glau, uh, Brian Augustine Greed, producer Josh Friedman and Ian Goldberg. Um, so I believe it's going to be um, the last item on here which is just the audio track and th like I said that's just the commentary track uh, if it's not then what we're gonna do is just <laughs> re-rip it again but we'll see so so basically what we have here is two files that we're ripping they're both the last episode but uh, one of them contains the audio commentary and the other one contains the um, regular audio track so anyway click on make uh, MKV and then um, Oh, just create the file for you, okay? Anyway, while that's running, we're gonna skip over to. We'll we'll let it run, and um, uh, I'll skip ahead. Uh, we'll see the uh, the next couple of tracks later on. Anyway, um, the next file you're gonna download is um, MKV Tool um, Nix, uh, which. Um, is also a free um, software. I've used another one uh, that was recommended but it didn't work for me so um, I guess um, your miles your miles may vary I don't know. Uh, I um, I use 64 bit so or you know pick your, your option you got 32 bit and 64 bit and uh, also a portable version which doesn't require installation it's just uh, it's great if you just want to put it on a SD card or whatever and bring it to another computer. You can run it right off the SD card. 
so it's small enough that it's portable um, and um, what else um, yeah um, so go ahead and download that and uh, have it run in uh. okay guys uh, <laughs> so it made a boo-boo and I uh, ripped the um, uh, extended version of the demon hand instead which is, uh, is uh, the, the way they laid out the the track it, it's not very obvious uh, which it is uh, until you actually rip it but it's um, you know trial and error but I finally got my files that I wanted which is the last episode which I've renamed it uh, as um, season one episode nine and then um, uh, I'll, I grab the audio commentary one, which is the same thing. And I'll, I'll show you what, what they are uh, in a few seconds here. So we'll play this file. And uh, as you can see, this is just the regular audio, uh, the regular. Y so yeah, it has a voice over here and it's just a regular audio. Now we're going to play the uh, audio file here. Episode, it? It's the same, basically the same video, but it has audio commentary on the track instead. So, Ian, what were you thinking when you did deep when you wrote the scene? Yeah. I was uh, thinking about what a terrible baseball player I was. <laughs> All right. So now that we have the two files, we're going to be emerging basically, and uh, here is MKV tool. Uh, Nix, and what you're going to do is tr uh, drag the main file uh, to um, this input area here, and it's already it's going to grab the, the video as audio, and it has a subtitle, and then it has chapters, uh, and it's eight eight chapters. And uh, when you drag the audio commentary over in, it's going to display the same thing, uh, except that we're going to uncheck the ones we don't want. But I'll we'll show you. So I will drag that in. Uh, you're going to add it as a new source with the current uh, uh, multiplex setting, okay? So now there's two files. We got the uh, the uh, first one and then the audio commentary. Now, you see how it repeats itself down here? What you're going to do is uncheck the, the second video because uh, the first video is going to be fine. And then the audio, audio we want to keep. And then I'm also going to uncheck the chapter. There is no subtitles uh, on the that second uh, uh, commentary track, so it's just the audio and the video. But since we don't, uh, since we already have the main video, we uncheck it. Okay. Anyway, so that's uh, how you do it. And then uh, you just start the multiplexing, and it's going to be pretty quickly. Um, it's running right now. And as you can see, it's building the file as we speak, uh, and it just renames it uh, the the one option. Um, yeah, it's ten percent already, so it should be it should go pretty fast. So um, I guess I'll check back in a few minutes after it's done uh, with everything. All right, so uh, here's the final step. Uh, is um, what I'm going to do is download um, Handbrake. Uh, this is also a free software that you can download. Um, it's uh, Handbrake.fr uh, for France, and um, basically uh, this is a great soft free software. Uh, it looks a bit like this, and then what you're going to do is um, uh, now that we have the the actual file uh, here. Uh, we're going to drag in, it into my uh, handbrake and I my handbrake is already preset to how I like it which is uh, I shrink it down to 720p uh, size uh, but it's up to you um, what I use handbrake for is actually uh, kind of like a very small compressed file and um, if I'm going to stream it locally on my network um, 720p is, is actually perfect for me um, you can uh, choose the original source, but um, that's up to you. Uh, your file size is going to be a lot bigger. Uh, so audio commentary uh, or audio, we're going to add the commentary, which uh, I'm going to go add all remaining track, which is uh, both tracks. So one is 5.0 and then the other one is uh, the uh, 2.0. 
For subtitles, uh, this will burn in. Uh, so what I did is I extracted the um, um, a subtitle file into a text file. So we're going to clear this out and we're going to import the uh, the uh, new subtitle. And this is uh, not burned in. And then basically um, 43 minutes. Uh, it's going to eight chapters. And then we're just going to uh, click start encoding. And handbrakes uh, will take actually a very long time for it to um, encode. Uh, you can have a faster computer with a faster chip that will improve this, but I, in my experience, uh, this is just a time consuming uh, process. And uh, like I said, it's free, so I can't really complain about it. And, and um, I guess why it's taking so long is it's actually doing a pass where, and it's shrinking the image. So. Um, it's basically re-encoding the, the file uh, again. So, and uh, you know, this file here, it's uh, nearly six gigabyte. Uh, what it's going to do is shrink it down to about uh, less than one gigabyte. Uh, so maybe like maybe six hundred megabyte uh, a file. And then, then I store on my local network and I stream it, and so that's fine. Uh, we'll check back after it's done encoding. <clears throat> Okay, guys, we're almost done. Uh, so um, the last thing I'm gonna show you is um, I use a software called MetaX. It used to be free, uh, but now it costs uh, ten bucks. Uh, it's not it's not a deal breaker uh, because I use this all the time. And so if you do too, or you you tag uh, software, it's it's worth the ten bucks. Uh, once in a while, he does. Um, kind of makes update and asks for donation and stuff like that, which, uh, you know, if I have the extra money, I'll, I'll definitely uh, like to donate uh, to his cause because uh, I actually like the software. Um, all right, so we have here the finalized uh, handbrake uh, a copy of Terminator, uh, uh, the last episode here of season one. This is the original file. It's uh, a f a nearly six gigabyte, and then the reduced size is... Uh, one gigabyte and uh, I'm gonna play it just to show you it's a little smaller size but future, I'm gonna change the audio now so that's pretty cool right so I'm gonna change back to uh, the original audio and this is so, yep. And so, so subtitle as well. So I'm going to... Um, let's do the subtitle again. Uh, let's disable it this time. So, we don't have the subtitle. We don't want it. Um, all right. So the final step is the meta X, as I mentioned. Uh, so I have... Uh, uh, it in my whoops I actually have it run in already so I'm gonna actually close that and open up the one I was I have run in here uh, so this is pretty easy you drag the file into uh, meta X and I'm gonna check this because I don't want it ch change the uh, title you do a search for Terminator uh, Terminator the Sarah Connor Chronicles uh, you pick the uh, option and it fills in all the artwork and title you just go uh, select all and now when you tag it it shows up as the, the movie file let me do a view extra large file so now you have the artwork and everything in here so if you um, um, want to quickly look at oh oh that's the cover of the Sarah Connor Chronicle and so and if you don't like the artwork you can actually <clears throat> Uh, do a search and then change it so it has an iTunes version let's click on that and it's gonna be a square I, I don't like that artwork at all and then uh, like there's alternate uh, options you can choose that looks like a UK cover don't like that <laughs> and then this is uh, um, ooh, this was pretty cool um, in fact uh, I might choose that and then so you just write it again and now voila it uh, shows up as with the new uh, artwork 
on there. So this is pretty cool. You can double click on it and then it'll play your movie again. Once again. In the future, my son will lead mankind to <coughs> war against Skynet. These things, all of them, are programmed with specific missions. So there you have it. That's um, how I am ripping my movie files. Now, I actually took a look at um, Sarah Connor Chronicles Season 2. And the audio commentary, that's not an issue anymore because uh, somewhere between the first season and the second season, uh, Warner Brother got their act together and figured out how to add multiple audio tracks to their video files. So now you don't have to go through this uh, long process of uh, extracting two video files and then merging them. Uh, because they're already on the, the disc as a one movie file or one video file with multiple audio. So you can change it to Spanish, for example, or audio commentary if that was is an option. So anyway, that's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to end up just ripping the rest of the Terminator series. And uh, there's only two seasons, but they're great seasons. Uh, so if you haven't seen this show... You should check it out. It's, it's definitely worth it. It's currently being on sale on Vudu. If you buy both season, it's 10 bucks, so that's $5 a season. It's totally worth it. Uh, I thought about buying it again, but I already have the Blu-ray disc, so I figured I can live with uh, just ripping it myself and watching it uh, on my local network. Uh, but, um, but, you know, ten $5 a season is not bad. I may double dip and rebuy it uh, on Vudu. Actually, speaking of which, let's go to Voodoo. <clears throat> so uh, this is a library of my movies. I have uh, nearly a thousand movies. Um, so hopefully, uh, uh, what you can do is go to uh, TV. So this is my TV. I don't really have a lot of TV. I don't really watch. Uh, or it's actually my my TV Voodoo. I only have a hundred and thirty-one. I don't really watch that much TV. So. Um, so uh, the deal is you go to deals and uh, it's going to be um, this one, mix and match, uh, two season for 10 bucks. It's a pretty good deal. I, I thought about buying it. I already choose my thing so I can own it for 10 bucks. It's totally worth it uh, if you, um, I guess, just want uh, an easy access to your movie anywhere you want. And you know what? Going through all this uh, hassle, I might just buy it. I, I've already added it to my cart and everything. It's going to be so much easier to just uh, get it. And then uh, you can get Veronica Mars Season 1 and 2 for uh, 10 bucks. Uh, pretty good deal. Uh, they're little older, uh, older shows. Uh, I fringe. I, I have all the fringe season, but um, on digital, it, it fringe didn't go digital until uh, like Season 4. So... Um, uh, these uh, were not bundled with your Blu-ray when you bought them the first time, so they're normally like thirty bucks, but you can get it for five bucks. It's a pretty good deal. So, and actually uh, talking about it, I'm I'm actually so let's do my TV, and there we go, Sarah Carter Chronicle, you own on season one and two. So. Um, Actually, you know what? If you buy it on Voodoo, it does not have audio commentary, just to let you know. So that last movie track here, uh, let's, uh, it doesn't, it, I'm going to tell you, it does not have audio commentary on these. So that's the terrible thing about digital um, is they don't have any of the extra features. Yeah, there's no f extra p features either. It's just uh, the, the f nine episodes. Um, but... Anyway, there you have it. Thank you.